Hi, so I got a request to talk about Chrysoprase Stone. So I connected to a Chrysoprase Stone. So I'll be talking about what kind of energy that will align me with. So this is a rough Chrysoprase. So from the meditation, the image that I saw is um, me opening a door from this stone and then going inside the stone. And in this phase, the surrounding reminds me um, similar if you would go inside a tree trunk. So I kept going inside in this enclosed space. So inside this enclosed space, it has that vibe of a safe place where you can retreat. It's also similar to um, when you're a kid and you have like hiding places that only you and your friends know about it. So depending on what I'm feeling during that um, during that day, let's say I just want to um, rest and just be by myself, then the stone will help me have that space. But let's say I had a challenging day and there were a lot of things going on, um, so this stone will help me have that safe space where I can just release everything in my mind and release everything in my heart so I can just process through that and let it all go. So what's interesting is depending on what kind of energy I'm feeling, what kind of vibration I'm in, um, it's bringing that a different kind of interaction with the stone. So I actually have a bonus part. When my friend asked me to connect to a chrysoprase stone, for some reason, this stone popped up in my mind and I, was actually, and I was actually grabbing it, about to meditate with it, when I realized that it's actually not chrysoprase. And I was like, wait, this is green garnet. So what I did is I meditated with this stone and connecting to my friend's energy so I can see what kind of energy this green garnet with, will align her with. So from the meditation, um, I saw this green garnet stone go inside her heart. And from that moment, I noticed that um, there was this big sigh of relief and there was this release in her heart area. So any guard that she has, um, any heaviness was released. That being said, there might be some emotions that will rise up from her heart. So feelings of sadness and feelings of being vulnerable might um, pop up. So if that happens, it's just best to let it, let it rise up and to use the breath to process it out and let it flow out of her body. So that process is helping her get more in touch with her heart and so she's actually able to take herself more seriously and to also be more authentic within herself. So that will also translate with other people treating her with more authenticity. So yeah, this process is helping her lift up the vibration of her heart higher so she's able to feel more happier and with ease. So if you enjoyed the last part, I also offer crystal readings. So I send you a photo of crystals and then you pick three stones and I'll do the crystal reading with those stones and I'll also send the crystals to you.